My name is Drew Steven. I'm an associate professor of musicology in the Department of Music, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Schubertiad. We remember Franz Schubert as a prolific writer of songs, or as he would have called them in his native German language, leader. But we often forget that they were part of a very real living tradition with a strong social aspect. And nowhere is this more evident than in the Schubertiad. The Schubertiad is generally understood today as an event held to celebrate the music of Franz Schubert, which is true, but it is really much more than that. The term was invented by Franz Schubert and his friend, the poet and actor Franz von Schober, to describe the regular gatherings they organized with other young artists in their early 20s, including the painters Leopold Kuppelweiser and Moritz von Schwind. Although music was a central focus, it was not the only activity. The group read and discussed drama and literature, supported each other's artistic endeavors, and generally socialized. I was excellently entertained, wrote one participant after a Schubertiad in 1821. Schober invited Schubert and 14 of his close acquaintances for the evening. Schubert sang and played a lot of his songs by himself, lasting until about 10 o'clock in the evening. After that, we drank punch offered by one of the group, and since it was very good and plentiful, the gathering, already in a happy mood, became even merrier. It was three o'clock in the morning before we parted. We get a sense of the group's activities from a painting by Kuppelweiser. In what appears to be a game of charades, several members recreate the expulsion from the Garden of Eden, with the Tree of Life, the Serpent, Adam and Eve with an apple, God, and a cherub. Notice that Schubert observes from the piano with his left hand on the keyboard, either providing musical clues or some form of melodramatic accompaniment. The group clearly benefited from the opportunities to share ideas and find mutual inspiration. Schwind observes that the way Schubert composes is the way I should like to paint, and Schober, in a letter to Schubert, wrote, are we not precisely those who found our life in art, while others merely entertained themselves with it? As often happens with groups like this, the meetings eventually dropped off as individuals left Vienna to focus on their careers and pursue other interests. After a gap of a few years, the Schubertiads resumed again around 1825, but they were now hosted by older friends of Schubert, who were mostly art-loving, career civil service bureaucrats, who invited their colleagues from the civil service along with their wives and other family members. These were not formal concerts. There's no evidence that Schubert ever performed his serious chamber music works, but instead presented repertoire that was perfectly suited to the demands of his discerning amateur audience. Leader with sentimental texts, vocal quartets, piano duets, dances, and piano variations based on his songs. A diary entry describing the event records that Michael Vogel, a retired opera singer and close friend of Schubert, sang almost 30 of Schubert's splendid songs. Afterwards, Schubert and another pianist played a number of duets, followed by a grand feast and dancing with Schubert providing the music often improvised from the piano. This enormous gathering, as it was described, was memorialized over 40 years later in a sepia drawing made by Moritz von Schwind. The 58-year-old singer sits beside the 29-year-old Schubert at the piano while listeners gather around closely to listen. While this event may look very different from the virtual gathering today, the basic spirit remains unchanged. As with the Schubertiad held during Schubert's lifetime, it's a wonderful opportunity for friends to share music that has long provided enjoyment, inspiration, and most of all, entertainment.
Und müd in dem Stall, der sich steht. Mein Falk ist der Kopf und der Stank ist am Leid. Mein müßiges Zwingspiel sein Futter verschmäht und mich kränkt des Turmes Einsamkeit. Ach, wär ich nur, wo ich so vor mir gewesen, die Hirschjagd wäre so recht mein Wesen, den Blut entlos, gespannt den Bogen, ja, solchem Leben bin ich gewogen, ja, solchem Leben bin ich gewogen. Hasse den Turm, wo schläfrigen Klang, ich mag nicht sehen, wie die Zeit verstreicht, wenn Sol und Sol die Mauer lang, der Sonnenstrahl so langsam schleicht. Sonst fliegt er 
die Lerche die Morgen zu bringen, die dunkle Dole zu Ruby zu singen. In dieses Schloss des Königs Hallen, da kann kein Ort mir je gefallen. Da kann kein Ort mir je gefallen. Lieder schallt, so nicht mich nicht in Engels blickt. Nicht folg ich den Flüchtigen hier durch den Wald und kehre mein Abenteuer zurück. Nicht schallt mir froh, es willkommen entgegen. Nicht kann ich das Bild dir so füßen belegen. Nicht mir wird der Abend unselig entschweben. Dahin. Dahin ist Leben und Leben, dahin, dahin ist Leben und Leben. Hi, I'm John Nix. I'm the coordinator for the voice area at UTSA. And my first Schubert song was Der Lindenbaum, which is the fifth song from Schubert's uh, last big song cycle, um, Die Winterreise. And I ended up performing it and several other selections from Die Winterreise on my senior recital. And uh, here's just a little bit of the song. Am Brunnen vor dem Tore, da steht ein Lindenbaum. Ich träumt in seinem Schatten so manchen süßen Traum. Uh, it's a really lovely song. Um, it's a very dark song cycle, but um, at any rate, that was my first exposure to Schubert songs, and I hope that you're enjoying our webcast today, and um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you again soon in live concerts here on campus. Thanks.
Ich hört ein Bächlein rauschen, wohl aus dem Felsen quell. Ihn hab zum Tale rauschen, so ich und unter hell. Ich weiß nicht, wie mir wurde, nicht wer den Rat mir gab. Ich musste auch ihn unter mit einem Wanderstab. Ich musste auch ihn unter mit einem Wanderstab. Ihn unter und immer weiter und immer dem Bach nach. Und immer frischer rauschte und immer heller der Bach. Und immer frischer rauschte und immer heller der Bach. Ist das denn meine Straße, wo Bächlein sprich, wohin, wohin sprich, wohin? Du hast mit deinem Rauschen mir ganz berauscht den Sinn. Du hast mit deinem Rauschen mir ganz berauscht den Sinn. Was sag ich denn vom Rauschen? Das kann kein Rauschen sein. Es singen wohl die Nixen tief unten ihren Rhein. Es singen wohl die Nixen tief unten ihren Rhein. Lass singen, Gesell, lass rauschen und wandre fröhlich nach. Es gehen ja Mühlenräder in ihrem klaren Bach. Es gehen ja Mühlenräder in ihrem klaren Bach. Lass singen, Gesell, lass rauschen und wandre fröhlich nach, fröhlich nach, fröhlich nach. Hi, I'm Crystal Gerald Johnson, and I'm on the voice faculty here at UTSA. I'm thinking back about my first Schubert Lied. Um, I must have been a junior or a senior in undergrad, and my voice teacher had um, assigned me Gretchen am Spinnrad, which is actually quite a, a big piece. Um, I had already done some music of other German composers. I'd done some uh, Brahms, a good bit of Brahms. I'd done some Schumann and some Wolf. So um, coming to Schubert, I had already, um, you know, some experience. I was, I was preparing it for a master class and I remember pulling it out in my first lesson on that particular piece. And even though I was just in a lesson and I was comfortable with my teacher, comfortable with the music, I remember my heart started to pound. I had a little bit of an adrenaline rush. And my teacher said to me, well, you know, actually it's in the music. You know, the heartbeat, bum, dum, 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 ya da 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 that excitement, that heart, that heartbeat, that little bit of adrenaline, it's in the music. Um, Gretchen is, is such a rich and um, emotional character to portray. The music is intense and fantastic. I mean, any singer that has ever done it that I know of just falls in love with that piece. Um, I don't believe I ever actually performed it in recital or in concert. I did, I did do it in the master class. So maybe at some point I'll have to circle back to it and revive that piece. But that was my first Schubert Lied. So blink the bein Rösein stehen, Rösein auf der Heutung. War so jung und morgen schön, lieb ihr süß dann zu sehen, so hast mit vielen Freuden. Rösein, Rösein, Rösein. Rüsseln auf der Heutung, Rüsseln wir 
Hello, I'm Dr. Jordan Lane Howell. I am a professor at the University of Texas at San Antonio and an opera singer and happily serve on a voice faculty here. I didn't study Schubert in my undergraduate degree or my graduate degree very often. Instead, um, I focused on both the Schumanns, on, on Wolf, on Brahms, and some other great German composers. But I didn't dive into Schubert actually until I joined the faculty here at UTSA and did a recital with Dr. Tracy Cowden, who is our chair, and she played the piano beautifully. We did a set of Schubert Lied on our joint recital. And I think the piece that stood out to me the most was Verklärung, which I believe is on the program today. And this piece tells the tale of someone who is at the end of their life and they are calling upon angels or spirits to kind of guide them to what's next, what's beyond. And at the end of the piece, you hear, um, uh, brother spirits, help me sing. Ihr Brüder Geister, helft mir singen. O Grab, wo ist dein Sieg? O Grave, where is your victory? O Death, where is your sting? Wo ist dein Pfeil, O Tod? And those lines are from 1 Corinthians, and uh, that's a book that I particularly enjoy from the Bible. So this piece all around I think is fantastic. You'll hear the juxtaposition of the recitative style which Schubert uses in this lead, and also the beautiful lyric melodies. And it functions a lot like an aria um, from an opera, which I appreciate because opera is a huge part of my life. So that is the, that's my Schubert memory.
leise flehen meine Lieder durch die Nacht zu dir. In den Stellen ein herniederliefen, komm zu mir. Zwischen schlanke Wipfel rauschen in des Mondes Licht, in des Mondes Licht. Des Verrätes feindlich lauschen, wirkt der Holde nicht, wirkt der Oh, 